welcome my dear students welcome to the subject of statistics for the class 12th english medium the first part the second chapter linear correlation by vitansa any distribution where information from the unit is collected for only one variable is called univariate data the distribution of marks obtained by students in a subject monthly income of a person age of drivers etc are the examples of this but when an information obtained for two different characteristics of a unit at the same time is called a bivariate data the distribution obtained is known as a bivariate distribution for example price and supply of an item expenditure and saving of a family age of husband and age of wife etc depending on this let us take an example the yearly rainfall and the yield of rice when the yearly rainfall increases that means when there is a high level of rainfall the yield of rice also increases when there is a decrease in the rainfall the yield of rice also decreases this is one kind of a connection a relation between the two variables of the same data taking another example expenditure and saving of a person if the expenditure of a person increases his saving goes down but when he reduces his expenditure his savings increase this is also a relationship between the two variables of the same data these two examples of the relationship between the same units of a data can be called the cause and effect relationship my dear friends the whole chapter of linear correlation is a relationship of cause and effect between the two characteristics of a same unit that we can say that if there are simultaneous changes simultaneous changes means changes at a same point of time so if there are simultaneous changes in the values of two variables we are talking about the bivariate data so if there are simultaneous changes in the values of two variables due to direct or indirect whenever one thing increases along with another thing yield of rice and the rainfall that is called direct relationship when there are indirect relationships uh, for example any third party has been affecting our two units of variable then we call it a indirect relationship so due to direct or indirect cause effect that is very important the correlation word is something like synonymous to cause and effect so if there are simultaneous changes in the values of two variables due to direct or indirect cause effect then it is said that there is a correlation so if there are simultaneous changes in the values of two variables due to direct or indirect cause effect then it is said that there is a correlation this is the definition for the correlation remember this properly now if these two variables of which are correlated with each other are plotted on a graph and we get a straight line like this that means the all the points of these correlated variables when plotted on a graph paper gets us a single line like this then we can say that the correlation is a linear correlation linear means a straight line 
so when we plot all the points of this correlated two variables on a graph paper and get a straight line we call it a linear correlation generally the exact linear relationship exists in mathematics and physics for example radius and circumference that means if i increase the radius there is an exact proportionate increase in the circumference we know the formula 2 pi r that formula we already know and if i increase the circumference there is an exact proportionate increase in the radius so we call it an exact linear relationship that means the line is always straight but in commerce or economics or social sciences these kind of changes are not seen usually if a rainfall in current year increased by 10 percent not necessary that uh, the yield will also increase by 10 percent it could increase by 5 percent it could increase by 15 percent we know that it will increase but not necessarily in the exact proportion so in this kind of commerce and economics there are no proportionate changes but they are very much near to proportionate changes therefore there is we call this normal correlation but for this chapter we will keep on calling linear correlation as just correlation assuming that every correlation is linear so in this chapter we assume every correlation as a linear correlation for correlation there are basically two types one is a positive correlation second is a negative correlation positive correlation means when changes in the two correlated variables are in the same direction take an example of the yield of rice and the yearly rainfall when rainfall increases the rice yield increases when the rainfall decreases the yield of rice also decreases that means the changes in these two variables are in the same direction whether both increase or both decrease and its examples can be price and supply of an item when the price in the market increases the supply of the item also increases when the price in the market decreases the supply also decreases likewise age of husband and age of wife usually the older the husband the older the wife younger the husband younger the wife they are directly positively correlated number of vehicles and number of accidents more number of vehicles are there in the country the number of accidents will also increase sell and profit of an item the more you sell the more profit you earn and likewise many positive correlated variable examples you can get if you think hard about it the second type is negative correlation when the changes in the values of two variables are in the opposite direction one increases another decreases one decreases another increases they are in opposite directions so when they are in opposite directions they are called negatively correlated variables if you want to know the example price and demand whenever the price increases people demand it less because it becomes costlier when we do more expenditure we save less the temperature and the sale of woolen clothes if the temperature drops the woolen clothes sales rise when the temperature goes up the woolen clothes sales goes down etc so many other examples can be found from our real lives now coefficient of correlation the chapter moves around rotates around this particular term coefficient of correlation Correlation is a relationship, but statistics is all about numerical values. So the numerical value of this correlation is called coefficient of correlation. We can define it like this, that uh, it is a numerical measure of correlation, which shows the strength or degree of linear correlation between two correlated variables. And it was first suggested by Carl Pearson, means the Carl Pearson is the person who first gave the formula of coefficient of correlation. So coefficient of correlation or the correlation coefficient is a numerical measure of correlation which shows the strength or degree of linear correlation between two correlated variables. Some methods of studying correlation 
are as follows. The first one is a scatter diagram method. Second one is Carl Pearson's product moment method. The method given by Carl Pearson for calculating coefficient of correlation. The third one is Pearson's rank correlation method. That is the correlation coefficient calculation method given by Charles Spearman. So in today's tutorial, we will be studying the first method that is the scatter diagram method. Scatter diagram method, as you can see, it is basically a diagrammatic representation of the two related variables. That means we will be creating graphs, uh, linear graphs on graph paper for deciding whether it is a positive or negative or something like that. And uh, it just gives us the idea about the nature of correlation. It doesn't gives us a, give us the exact value of this correlation. Uh, if all the points of a scatter diagram lie on a one line and if the line is going in upward direction from left to right that means from left bottom to right top then it shows a perfect positive correlation that means that all the points plotted on the graph gives us the straight single line that is called perfect positive correlation once again perfect positive correlation if the points of a scatter diagram lie on single line but line goes from left top to right bottom that is the exact opposite of the previous type we will call it a perfect negative correlation that is from left bottom to right top is perfect positive left top to right bottom is a perfect negative correlation when uh, points of a scatter diagram are not on a single line that is they are a bit scattered but if we can assume a straight line from them going from left bottom to right top as you can see here uh, the points are not exactly on a single line, but if we draw an imaginary line between them, it shows us a positive line. So we will call this kind of a relationship as a partial positive correlation. The points are scattered, not on a single line, but if we draw an imaginary line, it becomes from left bottom to right top. That becomes a partial positive correlation. So that's the third type. The first one was perfect positive, a single straight positive line, perfect negative, a single straight negative line, partial positive that uh, scattered points but imaginary positive line. Then moving forward to the fourth type that is the partial negative correlation. The points are not on a single line. They are a bit scattered going from left top to right bottom as we can see here on the graph that is the fourth type the last type the points of the scatter diagram lie randomly without forming any specific pattern that shows an absence of any kind of correlation as you can see on the graph they are scattered randomly don't show any kind of a relationship any kind of a trade as you can see the line it goes haphazardly from any point to any point so that shows an absence or the lack of any linear correlation if we get such kind of a diagram that we can say that there is a lack of linear correlation what we will say a lack of linear correlation so those are the five types the first one is a perfect positive correlation the second one is a perfect negative correlation. The third one is a partial positive correlation. The fourth one is a partial negative correlation. And the fifth one is a lack of correlation. Merits and limitations of the scatter diagram starting with the merits. It is a simple method to know the nature. If we just want to know what kind of a correlation it is, it is very easy. It does not require any high level of mathematical knowledge you just need to draw a simple diagram that's all it also gives us the strength of correlation if the 
dots are very much near to a straight line it has a very huge strength it is quite strong if the points are very scattered very far from the imaginary straight line then we can say that there is a weakness in the correlation scatteredness of the points suggest whether the correlation is linear or not if they are far from the line it is not linear if they are nearer to the line they are quite linear and there is no difficulty in judging we don't have to face any difficulties or problems in judging just taking a look at the graph gives us an immediate idea between which five types does this correlation belong the perfect positive perfect negative partial positive partial negative or lack of correlation the limitation only one that it just gives the nature an idea but we don't get the exact numerical value of the relationship and therefore this method is quite useless it might give us an idea but in the calculation of the statistical inferences and analysis we can't use this method because this method does not gives us the exact value of a correlation between two variables now exercise 2.1 this exercise is based on drawing this scattered diagrams so we will be calculating we will be drawing it in graphs i have presented it here in graph you have to draw it in your own graph books a ball pen making company wants to know the relation between the price and supply of its most selling gel pen the following information is collected for it draw a scatter diagram and interpret it so we have the information price and monthly supply of units so we will be showing price on the x axis and monthly supply on the y axis now it is nothing new for you guys to draw a diagram but still the graph will look something like this the price from 0 to 18 as the highest price is 17 and 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 and 18 the monthly supply we will show as 10 20 30 40 50 60 60 as the maximum is 53 and 10 10 is quite good now plotting the points the price 14 the monthly supply 32 price 16 50 price 12 supply 20 price 11 supply 12 price 15 supply 45 price 13 supply 30 price 17 supply 53 that where you will be plotting all the points on your graph paper is shown in the screen now also draw an imaginary line it's okay if you don't draw it it is not actually a part of your syllabus i have only drawn it here for the sake of understanding but i think you guys know what kind of a correlation it is as all the points are not on a straight line but still that imaginary line is a positive line we will call it a partial positive correlation so the type of correlation for this particular question that is a price and supply of ball pens is a partial positive correlation moving on the second question it manufactures aro plants and information of, about advertisement cost and the sale that means the more advertisement cost is incurred we are assuming there should be more profit if they are spending more the profit should also be more so depending on the data it should be a partial positive correlation but let us create our graph the cost is 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so 2 4 6 8 10 and 12 will be the data on x axis on the y axis the profit is 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 and 16 and now we will be plotting the points for advertisement and profit the points will be something like this phi 8 i have written down the values for each and every point so you will be sure about what i am writing down here the imaginary line still says that points are not on a straight line but they are quite near to it and it's a positive line so we will name it partial positive correlation so this correlation is a partial positive correlation moving on to the last sum following information is collected to study the relationship between minimum day temperature and sale of 
woolen cloths during a particular day of winter for six different cities. So the minimum day temperature and the sale of woolen cloths. If the temperature falls, the sale of woolen cloths will increase. If the temperature increases, the sale of woolen cloths will decrease. That is the kind of relationship they have. So looking at the data, it seems it will be a partial negative correlation. But once again, we will draw the graph on x axis. We will take minimum day temperature that would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, maximum 30. And on the y axis, we will take uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 up to 80. Now, plotting the points, we get something like this. Now, looking at the points plotted on the graph paper, we can say that there is no straight line but the line follows a negative correlation so there is a partial negative correlation between the day temperature the minimum day temperature and the cell of woolen cloths because the line is negative but the points are not a straight line so there should be partial negative correlation so my dear friends this is the end of your first exercise for the second chapter which was on the topic of scatter diagrams method for calculating the correlation or uh, estimating the type of correlation uh, please study the vi this video very carefully it also gives some information introduction definition of the correlation if you study it properly then the future sums the future exercises and methods will not seem that difficult Please do all these sums once in your regular notebooks and twice in your homework notebooks. That way doing three times any sums will enable you to understand the concept properly. There are some four to five illustrations which I have not done here because all of those belong to the scatter diagram method. I suggest that you do it at home perfectly so that you will understand this method. Sometimes this method is asked for three marks sometimes. Next time, I will be discussing the Carl Pearson's product moment method. Till then, see you guys. Have a happy studying.